Hello? Hello, I am back today with another declutter video. This is going to be my second to last declutter. Well, my last declutter is just gonna be me going through my entire collection and picking out things that I wanna get rid of that have been sitting since I started this series. And then I'm gonna organize all of my makeup, which is gonna be a fun video for me. Today, we're gonna be tackling just like random eye products. I am very happy with how much stuff I got rid of. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And in case you're wondering, yes, I will have a new nail video up soon. As you guys may have noticed, my nail videos take a very long time to film and edit because of the amount of detail that I put into them. So I like to break them up every once in a while with videos like this. If you enjoy declutters, I will link my playlist in the description box as well as somewhere on the screen. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and staying subscribed and let's get into it. Reporting live from my office floor, we are back at it again with another declutter. On today's menu, we have gel eyeliners, pigments and glitters, mascara, liquid and pencil eyeliners, and brow products. I don't think I'm gonna need to lay out too much. I am gonna lay out my pigments so that I can see them all. I think this is gonna be a good one. I'm still on a high from my last declutter where I got rid of 65% of the products that I went through. So I'm gonna lay down my towels, organize what I need to organize and get right into this. everything laid out. Chris surprised me with an iced coffee. It's like he knew that I wasn't in the mood to drink my warm coffee, which is very sweet. I'm gonna start this declutter off with my pigments and glitters because they're closest to me. When I first pulled all of my pigments and glitters out of my drawers, I thought, oh, this is gonna be so easy. I'm gonna get rid of most of them. But I'm realizing now that I could actually use some of these pigments on my nails. They would look really pretty mixed up with poly gel, builder gel. So because because of the way that I'm approaching this, I think I'm gonna end up keeping more than I had planned to initially, but whatever, let's just get into it. So these pigments here, I kept for sentimental value because I think I purchased them when I went to Miami for the first time a very long time ago, these three, and they're actually quite pretty, especially this one. I didn't think I'd get deep with this category, but I think I'm gonna need to do some swatches. It feels a little bit dry, and now that I've seen it swatched, it's not as majestic as I thought it would be, so I'm gonna throw that one out. This is so pretty, I just, I don't think I'm ready to part with it yet, so I guess this one's gonna stay. Oh man, this one's really pretty too. Damn it, I'm gonna keep it. This one is so ancient that the name has rubbed off and I'm pretty sure I've had it since makeup school, so I'm gonna throw it out. I have three BH Cosmetics pigments and three Annabelle pigments. I just made the mistake of opening this BH Cosmetics one and it got all over my nails, all over my freaking pants, and I had to go off camera to wash it all off. So for that reason alone, I'm gonna get rid of it. These two, they're pretty, but I just don't see myself ever reaching for them. Hmm. They're so messy. This is pretty, but I think I have it in eyeshadow version in at least 10 palettes, so I'm just gonna throw it out. Same with this one. While it is very pretty, I just, how often am I gonna wear a shade like this? Probably not very often. This is just a sidebar, but what I do at the very end of my declutters is I'll go through the pile of stuff that I'm getting rid of and I'll pick out the products that are not expired and are still usable and I'll ask my sister-in-law if she is into them. And if not, then I'll toss them or recycle them. Just thought I'd mention that. Moving on to my Annabelle pigments. Again, this blue one I don't see myself ever reaching for, so that's gonna go. I do kind of like this olive green one. It's different and it's pretty, so I think I'm gonna keep it for now. And this iridescent one looks like it would be nice, maybe mixed into a poly gel. I think I'm making excuses to keep it, and deep down I know I'm never gonna reach for it, so I'm just gonna toss it. Oh, I got that BH Cosmetics pigment all over my MAC ones. Let's just go through my MAC ones since they're right here. Blue-brown, naked, 
Blondes Gold, Antique Gold, and 3D Gold, which would look really nice on the nails. I'm gonna keep all five of these. These are all e.l.f. cosmetics. I'm pretty sure they're all expired, honestly. They have a shelf life of six months, so I should be throwing them all out, and that's what I'm gonna do. I've got a bunch of random pigments and glitters here. This one is by Victoria's Secret. I've had it for a very long time, so it's gonna go in the bin. This one is a Wet n Wild pigment. I actually quite like this. It's very pretty. I'm gonna keep this. I also see myself maybe trying to use this on my nails. These ones are NYX pigments and they are very old and I don't see myself using them on my eyes or my nails so I'm gonna throw them out. This one is an old gold pigment that I had in my makeup kit as a makeup student so you can only imagine how old this is. I'm gonna throw it out. These two glitters I don't see myself using on my face but I do see myself using these on my nails. It'd be really pretty to mix this with a clear builder. Anyway, I'm gonna keep both of these. I have five Lee Swatier glitter liners which are super old and dried out and a expired so I'm gonna throw them out. However, these are awesome. If you have access to Lee Watier, if they still make these, I would highly, highly recommend them. I think they're great. And then I've got an Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Gel in the shade Distortion. Look how pretty this is. So I am gonna keep this one and I'm going to toss all five of these because they're dried out and expired. And up here, this is an Inglot pigment in the shade 85, and it's very similar to MAC Blue Brown, except it looks a little bit more glittery. It kind of has more of like a green shift to it. So I am gonna keep it. This is actually a crushed eyeshadow by MAC in the shade Honey Lust. I didn't want to throw it out, so I put it in this old Smashbox gel liner pot, but I am gonna throw it out. I've got three Gosh pigments. This one is in the shade Lilac Star, Steel, and Plummy. I have not reached for these in years. I am gonna throw out Plummy and Lilac Star. I don't know how I feel about the steel one. God, why do I always do this? I need to stop opening them. I haven't reached for it and I'm gonna throw it out because I know that I'm gonna keep this sample of silver by MAC. If I ever want a silver pigment, I have one right here. I don't need to keep both of them. Next, I've got a bunch of glitter and glitter adhesive. This palette by Hard Candy is like a child's palette, so I'm gonna throw it out. I think this was sent to me, by the way. I wouldn't purchase that on my own. I've got a couple Lit Cosmetics glitters. These are fantastic. I absolutely love them, so I am gonna keep them. I'm also going to keep the Lit Cosmetics glitter base. These here, I'm pretty sure I purchased from like the dollar store or something. I know I'm not gonna use this purple one, so I'm gonna throw it out. I think I might use this black one for nails. It's very pretty. Okay, after giving these a closer look, I've decided to keep them for my nail kit. More glitter adhesives and glues. I haven't given this hard candy one a shot. It must be expired by now. I am gonna throw it out. This one by LA Splash was a really great one back in the day, but as you can see, it's dried out and likely expired, so that's gonna go. I don't really remember how I feel about this e.l.f. glitter primer, but I do know that both of these were purchased a very long time ago and they are likely expired, so I'm gonna throw them out. Same with this MAC mix mixing medium. This is hella old, so I'm gonna have to toss it. And then I've got my Ben Nye glitter glue, which is awesome and I know is not expired, so I'm gonna keep it. Pigments and glitters are complete. On the left is what I'm getting rid of, and on the right is what I'm keeping. Surprisingly, I did pretty well. I didn't think I would do as well as I did. Hopefully, we keep up this momentum with the rest of the categories. I don't really know how to go about sorting these eyeliners. I'm definitely not gonna go through every single eyeliner and swatch what I'm gonna do is just set up my camera and quietly go through these. I'm gonna make a pile of products that I'm for sure keeping and then a pile of stuff I'm getting rid of. That way it's not gonna drag out for too long. We're not gonna be here until tomorrow. And if there are any standout items that I wanna talk about, I'll include it at the very end.
on the left is what I'm getting rid of and on the right is what I'm keeping. I pretty much got rid of anything that was super dried out that I know I'm not gonna reach for, that I have not reached for in years. I'm keeping just the essentials. My Physician's Formula 2-in-1 Eye Booster Pens. This is like my go-to liquid eyeliner. The NYC liquid eyeliner, this one's awesome too. Just a bunch of pixie eyeliners, stuff that I know I'm for sure gonna reach for, as well as my Urban Decay Game of Thrones limited edition liners. So I think I did pretty good in this category as well. Onto my gel and cake liners. These are gonna be very easy to go through. These two Revlon gel eyeliners are sold. They're probably hella dried out, so they're both gonna go in the garbage. I'm also gonna toss these two Suva Beauty eyeliners. I don't remember the last time that I reached for these. I've got four of the Maybelline gel eyeliners, and I'm pretty sure they're all garbage except for one. I think this one is the only one that's fresh. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep this. I've got two of the Makeup Forever cake liners. These are absolutely amazing, but they're hella old, so I'm gonna have to throw them out and buy new ones. These are awesome. You activate them with water or with the Makeup Forever Aqua Seal, which makes them waterproof. So I'm gonna keep the Aqua Seal, but I'm gonna have to get rid of the cake liners just because I know they're super old. I've got a Lee Swatier gel liner. Yeah, it's hella dried out, so I'm gonna throw it out. I've got an Inglot gel liner. Uh, this one is also dried out. I've got an e.l.f. one. This one is also dried out. I've got a Krylin liner, and I believe this is dried out as well. Rimmel gel liner, also dried out. MAC fluid line in Blitz and Glitz. Look at how dried out that is, oh my god. Garbage and a ColourPop Mr. Bing cream liner. I hope this isn't dried out because I actually really like it. Ooh, that is pretty dried out. So I think I'm gonna have to throw that out as well. And last but not least, I have Elise Watier Metamorphix. This is actually what I use to mix with pigments to make them into eyeshadow, but I know that this is really old, so I'm gonna throw it out. Of the 17 products I had in this category, I'm only keeping two. Pretty good. I've still got mascara to go through and brow products. I think mascara is gonna be pretty easy because a lot of these are dried out. So let's go through them. First, I'm gonna pick out all of the pixie mascaras. I'm not gonna lie, I've never met a pixie mascara that I think is good and that I like. So we're just gonna pick them all out and toss them. I really don't have a lot to say other than they're not very good. CoverGirl Clump Crusher and the Supersizer Big Curl. On their own, these are not the best, but together they work really well. Um, the Supersizer is very clumpy. It does give me a lot of volume, but what I do is I follow it up with the Clump Crusher and I basically use this applicator to separate the clumps that the Supersizer gave me, which when I say it out loud kind of seems like a lot of work. I think I'm gonna get rid of the uh, clump crusher just because it's almost empty and I'm just not a big fan of it And I guess I'll keep the supersizer until I'm finished the covergirl exhibitionist mascara However, I absolutely love oh hello there Irina from the future editing this video I don't know what possessed me to keep using the word applicator when referring to my mascara wands But here we are so just pretend every time I say applicator. I'm saying mascara wand Yes, a wand is an applicator, but I, I just it's driving me crazy as I'm editing this. Okay, thank you. The applicator is a lot like the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. Let me just show you them side by side. The CoverGirl one is slightly bigger. The CoverGirl one gives me a pretty similar result to the Marc Jacobs, so I'm gonna keep both of these. Inglot Long Four. Um, this is hella old. I don't think I liked it, so I'm gonna throw it out. Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. This was actually pretty good, but it is dried out and old, so I'm gonna throw it out. Makeup Forever Smoky Lash is hands down one of my all-time favorites. The applicator is absolute perfection. It just makes my lashes look so nice, but one thing about this I don't like is the bristles are not gentle at all, so if you miss your lashes and you hit your waterline with this, it hurts like a bitch. Other than that though, great mascara. L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes. Oh, this is so dry, so it's gonna go in the bin. I've got quite a few essence. I think their mascaras are some of the best at the drugstore. I have the iHeart Extreme Crazy Volume, False Lashes, Volume Stylist, Lash Extension, Lash Princess, and Lash Princess Waterproof. The iHeart Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara is awesome, but I know this is over six months old, so I'm gonna throw it out. I don't know how I felt about the False Lashes Extreme Volume and Curl. I don't think I was like a huge fan of it. It is old, so I'm gonna 
get rid of it. I did really like the Lash Extension Mascara. This has like lengthening fibers in it, but unfortunately it is super old and dried out. So I'm gonna throw it out. And these two I love and use daily. I'm gonna keep them both. If you guys haven't tried the Essence Lash Princess Mascaras, they're awesome. L'Oreal Voluminous False Fiber Lashes. This is probably one of my favorite L'Oreal mascaras. I've purchased it so many times. I absolutely love the applicator. Unfortunately, this is definitely more than six months old, so I'm gonna throw it out. This Too Faced Better Than Sex is fairly old, so I'm gonna have to toss it. I do like the applicator. The mascara is okay, but I don't know that I understand the hype around this. It's not any better than some of the drugstore ones I have, TBH. MAC False Lashes Extreme Black. This is one of my favorite MAC mascaras. Again, love the applicator. However, this is very dried out and old. L'Oreal Voluminous Black Angel Miss Manga. The formula of this was very wet. I don't remember really liking it, so I'm gonna throw it out. This e.l.f. Plump It Up Mascara pretty good. The applicator is awesome. It is very volumizing. It actually reminds me a lot of my Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir as well, so I'm gonna keep this. I've got three of the L'Oreal Voluminous. This one is the blue one. It is fairly new, so I'm gonna keep it. Two in carbon black. One is waterproof, one is regular, but I couldn't really tell you how old these are. I have a feeling I should throw them out. Yeah, I'm gonna throw them out. Gosh, amazing length and build. This was a blue mascara once upon a time. It is so old. I'm gonna throw it out. I think this is the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. I wanted to like this because I felt like it was a good concept and I just love the tiny little applicator, but if I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I reached for this very much and it's dried out now, so I'm gonna toss it. Essence Volumizing Lash Powder. So what you do with this is you apply it to your lashes between coats of mascara and it's supposed to build up volume. Not my favorite. I think I tried it maybe once or twice and then I kind of got over using the powder, so I'm gonna Gonna throw it out. On the left, we've got a big old pile of mascaras that are going in the bin, and on the right are the ones that I'm keeping. Last but not least, we've got eyebrow products, and I noticed that I have an NYC liquid eyeliner in there, which does not belong in that pile. I am gonna keep this, because it looks fairly new, and I'm gonna throw out the one that I kept earlier, because I think this one may be expired. So... When it comes to my eyebrows, I know what I like, I know what I don't like, and I currently have like a pretty set routine in place, so I think I'm gonna get rid of a lot of this. For time's sake, I'm just gonna pick out all the products that I love and can't part with out of here, and then I'm gonna toss out the rest. Absolutely loving the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencils. If you haven't tried these, I highly, highly recommend them. They're such a steal for the drugstore. They are very comparable to Anastasia pencils, to the Benefit ones. Just trust me, they're amazing. So I'm gonna keep those too. I've got a couple of the little mini Anastasia Brow Wiz and Brow Definer. These were Sephora gift with purchases, so I'm gonna keep them both. This is the Soap and Glory Archery Brow, I think it's called. One side is a pencil, the other side is a the gel. The gel side is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep my uh, Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. Another one in a different shade that I think was like a sample. ColourPop Brow Boss is all right. Two of the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencils. These are pretty good. NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This is something that I have purchased over and over again for very many years. It's an awesome drugstore pencil. Makeup Revolution 24 Hour Brow Pen. I really only use this side. I use it at the front of my brow where my hairs are a little bit more sparse. And I'm gonna get rid of all of these and I just don't feel like going through them. <laughs> This is an old Essence brow powder. Haven't reached for it in forever, so I'm gonna throw that out. Smashbox Shadow and Wax. Oh my god, fossil. That's gonna go in the garbage. Elf Eyebrow Kit. This is a million years old, so that's gonna go. Sonia Kashuk Kit. I don't know what I was thinking buying this. Hardly ever reached for it. It's like sweating, it's so old. Essence Make Me Brow, which is a dupe of the Benefit Gimme Brow. I bought these for comparison, but honestly, I hardly ever reach for either of them, so I'm gonna throw them out. Elf 
Wow Brow. Sometimes I use this at the front of my brow, so I am gonna keep this. Rimmel Brow This Way. Can't tell you the last time I reached for it. That's gonna go. L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. Ooh, this is very orange. MAC Brow Set. It's dried out. And then I've got an Anastasia Brow Pomade, which is super dried out, so that's gonna go in the garbage. Similar to the Anastasia Dip Brow is the Milani Stay Put Brow. Hardly ever reached for this, so I am gonna throw it out. And then I've got a Makeup Forever Aqua Brow. This is actually a really great product, but I think it's super old and dried out. I'm gonna have to order a new one, so I'm gonna throw this out. And last but not least, I've got two products that I would normally set my brows with. This is the Got To Be Glued. I keep one of these in my professional makeup kit as well. This will keep the brows in place through a hurricane. It's no joke. I think this one is fairly old, so I'm gonna throw it out because I've been doing soap brows for a while and they stay put, so I haven't had the need for this. And lastly, I've got my model in a bottle long-lasting brow sealer. This stuff is amazing too. It keeps the eyebrows in place all day long. I have to really scrub my face to get my eyebrows off. The only downside is that the bottle gets kind of dirty if you're always dipping the same applicator in and out, and I don't really like that. However, I am gonna keep it. On the left is what I'm getting rid of, and on the right is what I'm keeping. Up top are all of the products that have lived to see another day, and on the bottom here are all of the products that we're tossing. I tallied everything up. I started with 230 products. Of those products, I'm getting rid of 159, which is 69%. Another very successful declutter sesh is complete. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. It's so nice organizing and cleaning. I cannot wait to do one final declutter of my entire collection and then show you guys how I'm going to organize all of the makeup that I kept. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and staying subscribed and I'll see you in my next one. Okay, love you. Bye.